my experience in the offshore oil and gas industry, that there has been cost cutting ahead of big oil and gas corporations who are at the root of the OH&S problems in the oil and gas industry. While Snop Seema are still investigating the tragic death of Michael German on the NRC on Friday the 2nd of June, it is clear to me and my experience that Woodside have had some safety systems fail. It is not, import, it is not just important but essential that the safety regulator focuses on the root cause of the decline in safety standards in the oil and gas industry. Over the past decade, Woodside, Chevron and Santos have been at the forefront of the, of the oil and gas corporations in churning through inexperienced green hat workers on their facilities. The contract workforce by these three companies are largely casual and quite often do not even have fixed rosters. They are being treated as expendable units of production. The three companies have devalued experienced workers and the ratio of new entrants to the industry versus experience is far outweighed with inexperience. We, we also have a culture where workers are afraid to speak up and speak out about safety standards. Casual workers are run off the facility if they speak up and permanent employees have their bonuses cut and risk being put on performance improvement plans if they talk up about safety, if they challenge the company and do not display the subjective behaviours standards demand by management. Unless we have a change of culture within the oil and gas corporations, genuinely taking on board feedback from workers and their unions, another fatality will not just happen, it will be inevitable. There needs to be significant change to the culture, specifically in the oil and gas industry and on facilities. No more cover-ups of serious incidents. No more hiding LTIs. No more not reporting. No more, you know, no more pretending that an incident like a, uh, a flare explosion was not a serious incident. And that happened at Woodside's Pluto, Pluto facility and was played off as a small, non-important incident. It's a shame, shameful thing to do because the reality is you don't then see a, a higher safety standard pushed across the industry, which will save lives. You just see a, a blase move on. It was not even a near miss. It is important that there needs to be more transparency in reporting of safety incidents. Be open and honest because we're talking about saving lives. I will always back unions in any industry to make sure that they have the opportunity to protect workers. And the Offshore Alliance is working hard to change the safety culture out on the facilities, which is where we're seeing a lot of the breakdowns in safety happen from these multinationals. These big corporations should embrace these unions, put them into the process. When I sat on the Stena Clyde and Nopsema come on board to investigate, not one worker had a representative in that room, but the, but the employer sat in there with Nopsema. I do not want to see that happen with this recent incident. I will talk now to all employers and especially the big multinationals. Stop bullying union members. Stop cutting corners for your profits. Stop training, uh, treating contractors and casuals like second-class citizens. And stop killing workers. To the workers, I say to you, stand up, join your union and fight for your right on the job. Mm -hmm.